Well, if like old mate, you're a Windows user, you know the value of having a hardened up antivirus and anti-malware platform on your PC that increases it over Windows's Defender. If you're a Linux user, yeah, 90% of the time you can probably get away with not having any antivirus. Same sort of can be said for MacOS. But if you use Solaris or one of the BSD Unix, you can pretty much guarantee you don't need antivirus. Okay, you don't. I do have a few viewers here at the Backyard Tech Channel that can hack open a Unix server in about 10 seconds because they know how to. They can bust through any form of Unix security, let alone Linux and Windows. But if you have a mobile phone or a tablet based upon either the Android platform or the iOS platform, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have to have any added security over and above the existing security in malware provided by the vendors. Well, it would appear as though for Android users, we may have a bit of a problem. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, more than two thirds of antivirus applications available on the Android platform are either ineffective or don't work at all. This is Backyard Tech News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning. And this is this one's come across my tech news emails overnight. This is from TechSpot. Now, all the hardcore iOS and iPhone and iPad people are going to be having a field day with this because they're basically going to sit there and say, ha ha, we told you so. You should go to iOS because it's 100% secure and never gets hacked. And I know iCloud is the best. It never gets hacked. That's crap. All right. Both mobile platforms are not 100% infallible. It's amazing how many people sit there and abuse Android users because they believe Android to be an, in, an inferior operating system. But the same can be said for Android people. You get the hardcore Android people who sit there and believe iOS to be the inferior system. Regardless of the mobile phone OS or tablet OS you run, you have to have antivirus, anti-malware on it. If you are relying on the system in itself, you're an idiot. For a long time, I ran a vast on my Android devices until I found out that Komodo had an antivirus platform for mobile phone. And I've been running Komodo ever since. If you have an iOS phone or an iPad, you can't just rely on iOS to protect you. You have to have some sort of antivirus system. But a lot of people at both hard ends of the spectrum believe that you don't. And that is rubbish. But this ought to put those who use Android, this ought to make you quake in your boots. Now, the app, I, Komodo is in there. It's not listed here in the um, article, but it is listed in, on AV Comparatives. I'm sure we've all heard of AV comparatives. I have, so we all have. But for the hardcore iPhone and iOS users, don't sit there and start typing saying that iPhone is infallible and that iOS is the best operating system and if, you, if everyone ran iOS, we'd never have mobile phone hacking. Yes, you would. All right. It's the same for you Android users. Don't sit there and say I'm bad-mouthing Android antivirus apps because looking at this, there are some there that are atrocious. There's some in the list that I'm actually surprised got through considering what they're like from the PC point of view. Personal opinion. All right, let, let's get into this. More than two thirds of all Android antivirus apps are ineffective and many don't even do anything at all. Only 50 out of 250 apps tested scored above 90%. Facepalm. In a survey of 250 Android so-called antivirus apps, only 80 were found to block more than 30% of mal malware samples. Some of the apps tested didn't even have any antivirus functionality at all. AV Comparatives is an industry research group that rates antivirus programs on their effectiveness. 
They recently conducted a study of Android antivirus products from Google's Play Store, and the results were rather surprising. They tested each app with 2,000 of the most common Android malware threats and recorded which were caught and which were let through. The tests were automated, but were done on real phones rather than emulators, which is what you should do when you're testing this sort of stuff. The test was designed to be easy, and as a result, most of the real antivirus apps detected 100% of the samples. Overall, there were about 50 apps that scored above 90%. As a control, they also tested clean apps to see if the antivirus app actually scanned the phone what they found is that many of the supposed antivirus apps simply marked every other app on the user's phone as suspicious unless it was hard coded unless it was on a hard coded list of allowed apps now the ios people are having a field day with this because i can see it now they're all sitting there going told you iphones are the best i don't subscribe to that some are, some apps displayed a progress bar during a scan but that was just, uh, uh, but that was just based on a predefined delay of how many, however many files were on the on the phone. A few of the apps even detected themselves as risky, since the developers forgot to add their own name to the apps allowed to the apps list of allowed apps. That's a worry. Okay, if you if you're a developer of an app and you don't put you in, of a cybersecurity app for iOS or Android and you don't put your own app in the hard-coded list, that's just dumb. All right, that is flat-out dumb. There was also rampant plagiarism among the less legitimate apps. Many just used the antivirus engine from another reputable application, despite still charging for their own app. Some of the apps went so far as copying the interface from a legitimate app as shown below. It can sometimes be difficult to determine which apps are real since shady developers can purchase comments and ratings. And that's true. And that happens on iOS as well. It happens on the App Store. The, uh, yeah, the App Store for Apple, not just on Android. Update frequency or number of downloads isn't the best indicator either. AV Comparatives recommends sticking to well-known brands since the watered down free versions of real apps is better than any scam app now i'm surprised that they didn't put komodo in this among the recognizable lists because look i'm not backed by komodo we know that i'm not sponsored by them nothing but my android phone and i'll talk about this later in the news komodo's protected me here on the main pc and on my phone now, I know a lot of people think Komodo is a heathen and an inferior, disgusting, crap cybersecurity platform. And that's fine, that's your opinion. Personally, I think it's one of the best. Among the recognisable names that did well were Avast and AVG, which is pretty much almost the same company. Avira, Bitdefender, not surprised. Bullguard, never heard of it. Emmasoft, never heard of it. Asset, we all know it. F Secure, yep. Kaspersky Labs, that one, yeah, that one's interesting. McPhee, I wouldn't trust McPhee as far as I could kick it personally. Sophos, to be honest, I'm surprised Sophos isn't actually being touted as one of the best. I would put Sophos, Bitdefender, and Komodo as some of the best mobile phone cyber plat cyber security platforms out there personally stop zilla never heard of it semantic i'm surprised tencent trend micro i don't trust it viper look out malware bytes we all know malware bytes checkpoint webroot and uh, zamana now we'll have a look at the full list in just a moment we are also surprised about the, the amount of bogus security software that is being distributed on Google Play with no intervention whatsoever from the platform. Now, that is common. 
Okay, now, you iOS and App Store users, you have got one up on the Android market there because Apple's scrutiny with the APIs and the keys and everything is far more tightly controlled than that of Google. I grant you that. But that still doesn't make the App Store and the iOS platform the world's best. Okay? We also have to assume that the owners of AV apps that are legitimate whose work is scraped by others, have tried at some point to correct this wrong. But the App Store in general aren't, but the App Store in general are really trying hard to deal with. That don't, hang on, let me try that one again. Um, we also have to assume the owners of the AV apps that are legitimate, whose work is scraped by others, have tried to, have tried at some point to correct this wrong. But the app stores in general are really hard to deal with. Google's not that bad. Apple is. Hence the large number of crappy apps waiting to be discovered. Google eventually removes most of the most of them, but not before thousands of users download them. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't like iPhone. And I don't like iOS. I prefer Android. Now, there are extremists at both ends of the of the field. You've got the hardcore Android users who will do whatever they can to pummel the iOS users. You have the iOS users who will pummel at any stage they get an Android platform. Okay? Android users. I bear look, I, I've got in disgust before over the fact that I, I prefer Android and that I'm not bowing down and dreaming about going out and getting an iPhone 10 with everything on it and believing it to be the world's best phone. No, I don't believe that. I prefer Android. I have users here at the Backyard Tech Channel who prefer iOS and who see iOS as the duck's guts. And that, unfortunately, as we say here, they've got the blinkers on. It's either iOS or nothing. I don't agree with that. Now, I do just want to quickly go and have a look at the report. I'll leave a link in the description, which you guys can go and check out for yourselves. I'm a bit surprised here. Now, where is it? There it is there. Komodo. I would have thought it would have scored a bit higher. The following apps detected over 30% of malicious apps and had zero false alarms. Um... Samsung device maintenance. Now, we all know Samsung's embedded cybersecurity system. We know what it is. I'm not going to explain it because if you're in IT or you're in mobiles, you know what Samsung uses. But you need to harden it up. Okay? If you don't know what Samsung use, again, how can you not know? I know. I'm surprised if I know this, people don't. So I'm not going to go through what the Samsung base uh, security system is because I know what it is, all right? But that doesn't mean you have to just rely on that. You need to harden up your tablet or your phone. It's amazing. I had to tell the old lady to get it. And she's like, I don't want it, I don't want it. If you don't have it, you're an idiot. Okay? iOS users. Now, I know you guys will sit there and say, well, I don't need to run any form of antivirus or malware on my iPhone because iPhone doesn't, you don't have to do it. Yes, you do. Especially in today's environment. Okay. I've got Komodo antivirus on the Mac. I've got it on one of my laptops. Y you have to run it. Okay. You, you got to. You've got to have... You know, whether it's Komodo, whether it's Bitdefender, whether it's Sophos, whatever, you've got to have something on your tablet slash mobile device. Okay? I had a devil of the time trying to jam it down the old lady's throat. That with all the stuff that she does on her phone, she can't just rely on Android's embedded platform. You have to harden it up. So, I mean, Samsung's system's not bad. Um, but it's, yeah, you still need it. I'm surprised Komodo was that bad because for me on my mobile phone, Komodo has protected me many times. Dodgy apps, um, bad sim, bad links. Um, you know, if I'm on public Wi-Fi, it basically does whatever it can to protect me. 
um, which also includes slowing down the phone. Um, Asset's a good one. Um, Threat Track's a good one. Trend Micro, I don't trust Trend Micro personally. Kaspersky's the same thing. Sophos, well, we know the reputation of Sophos, all right? We also know the reputation of Malwarebytes and Bitdefender, all right? So they're the ones I would probably say, but I, my personal one is that. That's the only one I recommend and use, okay? I know people don't like Komodo, okay? I've got plenty of viewers here who see Komodo as being completely inferior, and that's fine. That's your opinion. I don't. All right, Komodo has done wonders for me, both on the main PC, the other systems I run the antivirus on, and my phone. So I'll leave the link in the description below. You guys can go and um, check it out for yourselves. There's a whole list of um, other ones there that didn't do so well. Um, and you can read the testing procedures and everything like that. So... There we go. Now, the iOS users, go and have your field day and start touting the fact that iPhone doesn't need any form of cybersecurity. I don't agree with that. And all you iPhone users out there who now believe that Android is inferior and that if the whole world just ran iOS, there'd be no trouble. <laughs> um, more than two thirds. I would have thought it would be a bit bigger than that. But I am surprised that... that what surprised me mainly is the fact that the, the, this is the problem. Didn't have any antivirus functionality. You gotta be concerned about that. But there we are, news story done. Stick around, bit more coming up. Have a good one guys, cheers.